Hi and welcome to Tram TV. My name is Ed Miles and this is the Daytona Spirit XCR Gore-Tex boot. So as with all Daytonas, we've got a full leather upper, water, water and oil resistant on the upper as well, so the water should bead off. Use the Daytona leather cream to make sure that water beads off nicely and that will work perfectly. Punch vented down the front. The reason for this is this is more of a three season boot. You can use it all year with the correct socks underneath, but it's a much cooler boot than your standard Gore-Tex that you see with other manufacturers and some of the other Daytona Rangers. So, the full leather upper with the punch vent in the outside. To spin the boot round, stretch panel's all made of kangaroo, so it gives you a bit of extra flex in those areas. Back to the back of the boot, we've got a scotch light area on the back of the boot, a bit of extra reflective, a bit more safety in the boot as well. Throughout the sole, you've got oil and water resistant sole, with a comfort pad underneath, and also a steel galvanised shank, so you shouldn't have any issues with strength on the bottom of the sole. Still perfectly flexible, of course. Underneath the gear change pad, you've got a pad that protects the Gore-Tex waterproof layer from your toenails when you're changing gear. So you won't get that wearing down sensation on the front of the boot and with leaking problems. So there shouldn't be any issues of leaking in this area here. As I said before, this is a Gore-Tex XCR boot. The XCR really is the primary feature of this boot. The Gore-Tex on the inside is extra stretched, so it's 25% more breathable than your standard Gore-Tex you get in many other Gore-Tex boots. You also lose the thermal layer, so that you get even more ventilation, sorry, not ventilation, you get even more breathability. You're not going to get that, that warm feeling with this boot. It's a much cooler boot, much better for summer riding, hot weather touring, but somewhere where it might rain. So you're riding from the UK all the way down through Spain, Morocco, any of those sort of conditions, you're going to get a cooler boot that's saying it's also going to be waterproof. Spin the boot round to the opening. You've got full leather cover tip, curved as always from Daytona, and a bonded zip as well. It's curved to the bottom, so if you do have an accident, the extreme pressure on the zip might pop the zip open a little bit, but where it curves should stay done up, so the boot's got the best chance of staying on the foot. Again, standard with many Daytonas, there is calf adjustment. You just need to pull this aside, and you can adjust the calf area. So if you do have a larger calf, there is adjustment there, so you should be able to get the boot done up over any calf without any problems at all. The Daytona Spirit XCR Gore-Tex boot is the absolute perfect boot for the person who wants a touring boot, riding in mainly hot conditions, wet conditions, it'll do all the work in those conditions. If you do ride when it's colder, you need to wear the right socks underneath it's not the warmest boot that Daytona do. Any more information, please see www.tranam.co.uk.